Welcome to my 51 week bump day. We're a little behind. Um, I have a baby. That's him. That's the baby. This is the one that came out of my body. So somewhere in between 30 something weeks and 51 weeks, uh, I lost my camera cable so I hope I'm in focus. He's a little crazy. So we had our baby. His name is Leah. He's the cutest baby that ever, ever was. I think so. So, uh, first I'm going to talk about my birth story and then maybe I'll talk about babies in general. Well, this one in general. So, I was due by ovulation on September 23rd and on September... 20th. I was like, I don't want to get induced. I'm wasn't really that tired of being pregnant. I just really didn't want to be induced. So I did, did a few things to try and get it rolling. So my husband and I took a long walk in the morning and then we went out to my parents' house and my mom made the labor inducing eggplant parmesan, which was actually really good. Are you going to be fussy and crazy? No. Uh... This is my life these days. Never finish sentence. <laughs> Trying to sit up. So she also made labor-inducing cupcakes, and we went out to watch the game. Yeah, we did watch the game. That's right. And I started doing the. <laughs> I started doing the labor dance, um, which I found on some bump thread or something like that. And I actually started having contractions. Then I started swaying back and forth for like 30 minutes, just trying to get my hips loosened up. Do you like any? And um, I started having contractions later that night. And so they increased all through the night. I was timing them and um, I called my doula and I was like, what's going on? And she said, take like a Tylenol and a Benadryl and try and go to sleep because, you know, if you start this now, you're going to be exhausted. And if you can sleep, then that's good. So I did get to sleep and then I woke up in the morning and they kind of slowed down and then they stopped and I was like, what? going on so pretty much the the rest of the day yeah this was this day I called my mom and we just kind of like went and did stuff like errands and I felt like fluey the whole day it was ugh, it was not good and um, I could hardly eat and all of that and my contractions I would have one here and there you know but for the most part they were pretty much gone and then the next day was Tuesday that was the 22nd which is the day I thought he was gonna be born and also the last day of the Virgo sign where are you going? And and I really thought this baby was gonna be a Libra. I know this was like really weird, but I was felt so sure he was gonna be a Libra, um, which is cool because I like babies. Anyway, so my mom and I went to the mall and wanted to walk around a whole bunch, and we walked probably you know a few miles, and um, then I went home and kind of just like took a shower and did all that, and I set an appointment at the chiropractor to maybe get things moving, like adjust me and see if. It was like Leo was in a weird position and that was what was holding me up, you know, having this prodromal labor essentially. And that was gonna be at like seven. And so at right, like at 5.30, I started having strong contractions. And my husband and I went on a walk and they were like intense. They were like really intense. And I decided I couldn't go to the chiropractor. I called them and I was like, I'm in like pretty active labor. So gonna skip this one. So eventually, maybe like a couple hours later, my mom came over and we tried to make the brownies and the pumpkin bread that we were gonna make for the nurses and the doula. And my contractions, when they started at 5.30, it was like every three minutes, three and a half minutes and they were like 30 45 seconds long and started there and it got worse from um, that point so I didn't really have any like rest at all and so we were trying to make the brownies we like made them prepared them and we saw that it took 45 minutes to bake and then you have to cool it and all that and I was like no we need to go to the hospital so we went to the hospital and i was pretty cool like i took a picture of the clock in the car he is trying to sit up um, just constantly I took a picture of the clock in the car because i was like wouldn't it be cool if this was really the day it happened 
whatever. And we get there and they check me and I'm like, I'm going natural, thank you very much. Uh, whatever, and my doula was actually there with a birth from another client and so I saw her and we talked about it and I was gonna go natural, blah, 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 whatever. So um, we get into a room and they check me. <laughs> I get into a room and they check me and um, I'm one centimeter and like 50% dilated which is what I was pretty much um, at the obstetrician. And I had pretty intense uh, contractions, so I was thinking, is this gonna go on forever? Are we even recording? Yep. So I was thinking, this is gonna go on forever. Like, I'm gonna be in labor for three days. And so I was really kind of depressed. And so I went back home, and my doula was like, get some rest and do this like thing to help move the baby because he was still over on the right you were on the right yes that was that was what you were doing and we wanted him to be over on the left so i did that and then my contractions got so intense and if you have watched my videos you knew that i prepared for a natural birth by going to bradley class and studying hypno babies so i hadn't really thought a whole lot about getting an epidural <laughs> But I had been kind of stressing out about getting induced and I had been talking about it on some of the local groups and a friend of mine had had a C-section and she planned a home birth and she had to have like an emergency surgery and then that perforated her uterus and she had to have a, a C-section and she said, you know, like at the end of the day, it really didn't matter. It's like you have this baby and when I was in labor, I was thinking, I don't care anymore. I am not having a good time at all. Like I didn't feel in control. My hypno baby does not work for me. You know, I, I definitely felt um, pain and a lot of it. And I mean, I was able to be still and calm during my contract but I definitely didn't just have pressure. But anyway, so I had talked to her and I had talked to a client of mine who had said, you know, this is the one thing that when man improved upon God is when they invented the epidural. And she's like, don't be a hero. Just get it and enjoy yourself. And another friend of mine had had a very long labor and ended up with the epidural. And she said, I could relax and enjoy myself and get some rest. So I was thinking about all these things, but I was like, no, don't do it. But it was getting so, so, so intense and I was still thinking I'm still one centimeter you know if this is how it is at one centimeter I'm gonna break in half at nine and my contractions felt like the worst gas pain you've ever had times like 40 I think is probably about an accurate number you were such a pain in my belly so they weren't like period cramps or anything hey that's so crazy little tubby tub belly so I decided I'm gonna get the epidural. I have such a long way to go. Blah, blah, blah. So I call my mom and I go, you know, beforehand I was all like calm and I was like, hi, I think it's time, blah, blah, blah. And then I called her and I was like, we have to go, meet us there. We're getting the epidural. Don't bring the birth ball. I won't even need it, blah, 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 just go. And um, she said there was like a such a huge difference and I could not even, on the drive there, could not even handle it. I was like, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. And people were texting me and I was like, them. You know, it was, I was different. So um, we got checked in. I told them exactly what I wanted. I said, throw that IV into me ASAP and um, get it going. You know, cause I knew what I had to do. I had to have the bag of IV fluid before um, the epidural. And she checked me and I was five centimeters. This was like two hours later. So I had gone from one to five in like, I don't know, 90 minutes or something. And I was like 80% of this. So I got the epidural and for a little while there was like a hot spot where I could kind of feel it. But the rest was numb and then that went away thankfully and I felt nothing it was amazing it was amazing I was like texting my friends memes and stuff like you know I was taking selfies and like oh god it was awesome like we're all just laughing and having a good time and I could really think like he's coming now you know he's coming right now I'm gonna meet my son any moment and um, it was well, anyway, I'll, I'll get to that, I guess. But I was a little worried that it would slow down my progress. So I was obsessively asking them, do you think that it's still, like, I'm still having good contractions? And I was like, I don't feel like I'm having any. And she's like, you just had one at, like, 90. And I was like, okay, well, I trust you then. And they checked me a few hours later, and I was, like, 8 centimeters. And the OB came in, and then she told me, I think your baby's going to be born by 8 or 9. And I was like, cool, this was like four or five at the time. And then it just kept progressing really quickly. Or not quickly, but it was progressing and you know, I wasn't really having any anything to worry about. And then it was time to push and my doula was like, put your leg up here. And she got uh, my husband to hold the leg. She held the leg and my mom got to watch. And I pushed like three times. And after like the first 
push so they could see his head. I pushed like three times and then I was like, I have to keep pushing and they were like, stop, don't push, we have to get the dog down. And I like ran and got her and then two pushes later, like you just plooped out. That's like a combo of plop and poops. You plopped out and you pooped out. And I was like, put him on my chest immediately, please, please, please. And um, they did and I was like, he is funky looking. He was all bloody and like furnaxy and like he had this like black hair and his cone head and I was like, I'll learn to love you, I guess. And then they cleaned him up and I was like, he's so cute. But at first I was like, it's not what I expected. That doesn't look like what I expected. He is so crazy. Pretty sure we're in a Wonder Week leap right now. So um, we got him latched on. He kind of did a little something, but not really. And then we went up to our recovery room and man, I blew those nurses up. I was always like, help me latch. Is this the football hole? Is this right? I went to a breastfeeding class and I was on my phone the whole time taking like copious notes. And I'm sure she thought I was like on Snapchat or something, but I was just like writing everything down. Like every word she said I was writing down. Cause breastfeeding is really important to me. That is one of those things that it's like, okay, I have an epidural. Does that really affect the baby or does that really just affect me and like how I feed myself? But breastfeeding for sure was one of those things I really wanted to be successful at. And you know, when I was in labor, people were saying, no, you can try next time for a natural birth. And I was like, why? Uh -uh. Like, no, mm. next time I'm getting an epidural immediately so um i don't know but anyway so he latched on you know after a day or two he was latching on just you know very easily and i did have some soreness i think that i had an overactive let down on one side and so he was like clamping down hanging off for dear life but other than that it's it's been really easy and he's a major chunker and he gained a ton of weight and he's so fun and he's actually Oh my god, he does this every time he has the cutest yawn and he makes this little noise It's so cute, but I can never get it on video and So one complaint I have about this baby is he never lets me get the cool stuff on video But anyway, he's actually been like relatively easy. I mean in terms of having a newborn. He's pretty easy I mean he didn't sleep well at first, but um, we got a rock and play and plopped him in there and he's 11 weeks now and he sleeps anywhere from six to eight and a half hours at night. When he has a leap, he sleeps more like five to six hours, which we just went through. But for the most part, it's usually like seven to eight, which mommy's really happy about. So he eats really well. He smells a lot. He's such a ham. He's doing all these things. It's great. And he has zapped me of my fascinating personality. So I apologize. But here's my little baby. You chub chub. Isn't he cute? So for all the people asking what happened, I had the baby. He's perfect. He's beautiful. And I love him. <sighs> And I embarrass him, I'm sure, all the time. Even if he can't be embarrassed yet, he will be embarrassed later, not know why, and that'll be why. So... It'll probably be two years before I edit this and post it, so... Uh, I might be pregnant right now. You just wouldn't know it, like in real life. Okay, I don't know how to end this. <laughs> If I was a flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honey bee. And if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I'd want is you to shade me and be my leaves. If I was a flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honeybee. And if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I'd want is you to shave me and be my leaves. All I want is you and be my bride. Take me by the hand and stand by my side. All I want is you. Will you stay with me? Hold me in your arms and sway me like the sea.